The drifting analog stick issue is widespread. It doesn't matter if you buy a budget or a heavy-duty gamepad, all of them are prone to analog stick drifting errors. This video will show you how to fix the drifting issue without replacing the analog stick. Let's get started. I've got the inspiration to fix the analog stick drifts from this guy, the Sada King. I took his concept and applied it to the gamepad, so all credit goes to him and his YouTube channel. So for the first case, I will inspect the PS4 controller. For your information, I've installed a new analog stick previously, but even if it is new, it is still drifting. Let me show you the condition. Observe the right analog stick, it is drifting a bit to the left. Do you see it? While actually it is not affecting the game so much, it isn't enjoyable at some point. And customers always want perfection, and finding a perfect and centered analog stick is like finding a needle in a haystack. Now let's disassemble the PS4 controller. And remember, we will try to fix the drifting issue on the right analog stick. Buy 50k ohms SMD pots. You will need it a lot if you regularly do repair jobs. These pots are tiny, and you might need a microscope to solder them later. You need two pots for a single analog stick, so you need four potentiometers for a gamepad if both of the analog sticks drift. And this is the schematics. Please ignore the component scale. If you don't understand what it is, please watch the next section. So basically, we will solder the pot into every analog stick axis. For this step, I use a microscope to solder the tiny pots precisely, a soldering iron and the solder wire, a thin copper wire, and a soldering flux. We are done with the first axis. On to the next axis. So in the end, it will look like this. So after soldering the pot, we need to calibrate the analog stick. For this purpose, I will screw the motherboard temporarily, plug in the battery, plug in the USB port ribbon cable, and connect it to my computer. In this section, I will use a Bluetooth connection. Please observe the right analog stick pointer on the gamepad tester. So this is before calibrating. You see the pointer drifts to the left a little bit.
now get a small slotted screwdriver and begin to calibrate the axis. In this case, I will calibrate only the x-axis. Turn it slowly clockwise or counterclockwise until you see the pointer center. And there you go, the pointer is now centered, and you have fixed the drifting issue. Test the analog stick further before assembling the gamepad. And if you have satisfied with the result, you can reassemble the controller. For the second subject, we got the Xbox One controller, and it has the same problem. I've replaced the analog stick previously, but it is far from perfect. It still drifts. For your information, I always use a new analog stick, not used or pulled from other gamepads. And of course it is genuine, which is the Alps brand, not a fake or OEM version. Observe the left analog stick, it is drifting to the button right, and in this case, it drifts a lot. Remember, this is a new analog stick, not used. I know it is faulty, but let's try to fix it. Ok, let's disassemble the Xbox One controller. And we will fix the drifting issue on the left analog stick. Before installing the pods, we need to stick one layer of Captain Tape to the Xbox One gamepad motherboard. We should do this because there are vias, and we don't want short circuits. Then install the pods. So in the end, it will look like this. Now let's assemble the controller but don't fully close it.
Now let's calibrate the left analog stick. I powered this gamepad by connecting it to a PC. Let's test the left analog stick before playing with the pods. Get a tiny slotted screwdriver and begin adjusting the pods. See, it is now centered. It is easy to do, right? If someday the drifting issue reoccurs, you can try recalibrate it or replace the analog stick completely. And again, if you have satisfied with the result, reassemble the controller and finalize it. And that's how we fix the drifting analog stick issue. It is a fun and exciting project. Remember, if the damage is severe, you need to replace the analog stick completely and calibrate it if it is a must. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it helps you a lot.